Buenos dias sa todos. Good day. Assalamu alaikum. Maayong adlaw sa tanan. I am Mr. Ferdinand Andrade, the director of the College Data Center of Sambuanga City State Polytechnic College. At the same time, the developer of CCSPC My e -class. Together with the Special Project and Development Office, headed by Dr. Nora M. Ponce. Today, we are going to have an online orientation for all GCSPC students on how to use My e -class. It was agreed by all deans and directors and approved by our college president, Dr. Nelson P. Cabral, and Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Carlos C. Lolo, that our institution will use this newly developed platform for learning management system, which is this SPC My e -class. This in one way to easily monitor the students and faculty as they engage in the online class. Uh, whereas students with no internet connection will be provided with the hard copy modules. For the information of everybody, Moodle is the platform or software for learning management system which I use when I develop the My e class. Uh, this is exclusively for teachers and students of GCSPC. This platform was conceptualized in order to continuously deliver quality learning and instruction to all students via online in response to chat requirement in the conduct of flexible learning. The My e class works similarly to a Google Classroom or Edmodo. All the students who have access to internet will be able to learn online, participate and interact even at the comfort of their homes amidst this pandemic crisis. So for all students of GCSPC, you will use this platform to be able to attend online classes by enrolling in your respective course or subjects, where you can also read all our content based from the modules to be provided by your assigned teachers. You will take an assessment or answer quizzes or exams, as well as monitor your own activity progress and view your grades. Students may use smartphones, tablet, laptops, or desktop to access my eClass. For smartphone users, you may download Moodle application available in the Google Play Store for free. Or you can also use any internet browser available in your device like Google Chrome or Firefox Mozilla. While for those who are using desktop or tablet, just open any internet browser like Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, or Firefox Mozilla to access the GCSPC My e -class. There are two ways on how to access the GCSPC My e -class using smartphone device. One is by using Moodle application that is available in the Google Play Store for free. Also, you can use any internet browser like Firefox, Mozilla, or Google Chrome. For this presentation, I will first use Google Chrome. And it is very important to note that you cannot use Moodle unless you are already registered in my eClass. So to start, tap the Chrome icon and in the browser, type our official website address, which is www.gcspc.edu.ph slash my e -class. To register, click the sign up button and input the necessary information, such as your username, password, email address, first name and surname. The red tags indicate that you are required to provide such information for you to be able to create an account. At the bottom of the registration, you are also required to check the I'm not a robot or recapture because this is one of the security features of our website that prevents the hackers to create fake account or spam user registration by using a bot software. 
After providing all the necessary information, you are now ready to click the Create My New Account button. Please do not forget after successful registration, you cannot log in in the portal yet unless your account has been confirmed by the admin. Uh, as you can read on the screen, your account has been registered and is pending confirmation by the administrator. It simply means that you have to wait for the office of the College Data Center to confirm your registration. As you can see on the next screen, it will here. It will also ask you to confirm your registration via email. Again, there is no need for you to click the resend button email. You just have to wait at least a day for your account to be activated. After successful registration, you can now use my eClass and to start, simply click the login button link which is found on top of the page, which is here. Then you are going to provide your user information and the password and simply click the login button. Now let's try to explore first the main portal of the E-Class. Okay, there are two menus that you can use. One is represented in the three bar lines, which is located on the top left of your browser, and the other is located on the top right, on the top right of the browser. If you click the three bar line, you will be able to see the dashboard menu, which are the site home, calendar, and the private files. And if you are going to click the drop down menu, you will be able to see also the profile, grades, messages, preferences, and logouts. If you want to change the, your profile information, you simply click the profile and you can also edit your username and password. And at the same time, if you want to change your avatar image, you can also change it by clicking the edit profile and upload an image. I believe as a student, you are also required to provide your profile pics for you to be easily identified by your instructor. Now let's see the different blocks in the main page. As you can see, uh, the recently accessed courses, course overview, timeline, calendar, these are blocks. There is one important block that you need to include in this page, which is the course categories block, because uh, you cannot enroll in a particular subject or course unless if that, if that block is available in that page. And to do that, simply click customize this page, go to menu, and look for add a block. Okay. Again, you go to customize this page, go to menu, and choose add a block and look for courses. Now, as you scroll down, you will be able to see the course categories block. At the same time, there is also a latest budget, upcoming event. For you to be able to enroll in a particular course or subject, simply click the all courses under the course categories. Okay. And next it will, on the next screen, you will see it will ask you to input the subject or the course you want to enroll. Like for example, programming. All you have to do is to type that course or subject and click the go button. Or there's also another way on how to enroll in a particular course or subject. You can also click or look for the uh, a specific college, like for example, uh, College of Engineering Technology, and look for the programs, which is exam example, BS Information Technology and look for, the, look for the programs that you want to enroll, like for example, Programming 1. 
And as you can read, opposite of the course, there is an indicator which is the self-enrollment key. Uh, this means that if you want to enroll in a particular subject or course, this programming one subject is already ready for you to able to enroll. Simply input the enrollment key. The enrollment key will be provided to you by your assigned instructor for you to be able to enroll in this course. This works similarly for Google or Google Classroom or Edmodo. Okay, so if you click Programming 1, you will also see some of the information like the course description, the name of the instructor, which is me. At the same time, you will be asked to input the enrollment key code. As I've said, it will be provided to you by your instructor. Okay, all you have to do is to copy and paste it here and click the Enroll Me button. Okay, after providing all the information, you will be able to see the content of the module under Programming 1, such as the announcements, chat, forum, and module. And you can also see here below in the Lesson 1, Into the Programming. Okay. If you want to check the announcement provided by your instructor, you just simply click the announcement. And of course, if you want to chat or to talk with your classmate, you need to click the chat activity. And you can also post some, inform, uh, some questions in the forum. If you want to see the some of the topics of the mo in the module or in the lesson, you can simply click the three dot three bar line, which represents as the menu. As you click this three bar line, you will be able to see the uh, list of topics. Okay, uh, for for programming one, you can also see the code or the subject code, which is the ITPC one hundred one, and you can also see participants. The participants uh, represent or indicate your classmates. If you click participants, you will be able to see all the list of your classmates. Okay, so if you're going to click also the general, you will be able to see the content, which are the announcement, chat, and forum. And if you click module one, you will be able to see the content of the module one, such as the lesson one, lesson two, etc. If you want to see the content of the lesson one, just simply click this icon or this lesson one. Okay. Now, on this screen, this is actually your main page. Uh, your main page indicates that currently you have, or there is a two subject or course enrolled, which is the microeconomics section A and programming one. You can also see some of the progress bar below on the below on the subject name or the course name. The okay, as you observe, the Microsoft Microeconomics 1A has already 10% complete, and the programming one is a 0% complete. Uh, it simply means that as a student, uh, you were able to read some of the activity or you were able to perform some of the requirement or activity inside of this course. That is why you can already see the sum of the progress, which is indicated as 10%. And for programming one, as you can read, there is only 0%. It simply means that uh, all of the activities like uh, announcement, chat, forum, or especially your lesson, you did not perform any of this or any of these activities. That is why it's indicated it as a zero percent. Okay, so if you're going to click the microeconomics one A, you will be able to see the content. Like for example, uh, some of the contents indicate the instructions, and of course the news and events, chat forum. And of course, the 
lesson, which is about the ZCSPC vision and mission, syllabus, and course outline. If you want to check or if you want to read the content of the ZCSPC vision and mission, simply click this icon. Okay, and same, uh, same also with the syllabus and course outline. As you go along, you will be able to see the contents of the module two. Okay, now on this screen, you will see that the, the texts are deemed or idle. It's, sim it's simply because there are some re restrictions that you need, you need to comply first in a for you to be able to read all the contents. Like for example, for the week two lesson one, it says here these are restrict. This is restricted because it is not available unless the activity of syllabus and course outline is marked complete. Now, the syllabus and course outline is complete. This one, it simply means that you need to mark this, you need to tick this, or you need to read the content of the syllabus and cons and course outline so that you will be able to proceed read the content of the lesson one under week two okay please be very careful if on the some of the restriction for you to be able to read the content of the lesson okay another one is example logical analysis teamwork it's also indicated to restricted or not available unless the activity week two lesson one which is the definition of economics is marked complete Okay, so similar to the rest of the topics. In summary, for you to be able to read the entire content of your module, you need to comply first all the conditions as mentioned in the restricted statement. If you also want to check the menu or the under the microeconomics one, you just have to click this three bar line and you will also see the subject code, participants, budgets, and even your grades. After taking some quiz or exams, automatically you will be able to see your grades if the teacher will post your grades. 